Now I know these sort of indie rom-com hipster flicks, and that's totally what this is trying to be, by the way. Let's not kid ourselves. Note the cliché voiceover. These kind of films usually kick off with some sort of unique opening, like paper cutouts set to an arcade fire song or something, but I'm just not feeling it. Would you mind if we just jumped right into it? Thanks. I appreciate it. See that gentleman right there? That's me, Gary Willis, a 29-year-old film blogger. And this spry young thing about to jump over the couch... What about you, huh? Is David, my lover of five years. What? Project Runway's on. What is there to Liam Keaton besides that you get on stage? Yay! David annoys the hell out of me. And it's not just his taste in television. It's his taste in everything. For example. So for tonight, I rented a classic, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh. You know, I kind of like the second one better. Oh, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. <laughs> oh, God. You see? And God help me if I try and argue with him. Idina Menzel, thank you for being here. And you can catch Idina Menzel on Glee and in oh, several I love other projects. Uh, ah! Come on. After the Santa Claus can do everything she can, amen. What? Why do you always have to shoot down my opinions? You see, he shuts down. No concept of the art of helping his course. Anyway, so I met up with my friend Carol. Whiny, bitchy. Clingy, that's not just David, honey. That's all men. <sighs> you're right. What can I say? When you're right, you're right. Yeah, well, what can you do, you know? What can you do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm switching to women. Take a sour apple martini with a twist, and don't skimp me on the vodka. Hey. What's up, bro? Hey. A lot of, uh, fine-ass looking ladies here tonight, right? <laughs> I guess. Yo. Aren't you out there, uh, knacking on some bitches, huh? A triumph of the American education system. I just can't. I mean, she's too short. She's too tall. She's... Oh, come on. Was she even alive during the Clinton administration? I see what's going on here, man. Huh? How long has it been since you went back in the game? I'm gonna assume you mean being single. Well, my boyfriend and I, we, uh, we split up last week. <laughs> no, it's, it's totally cool, man. I'm switching to chicks. Oh, I just got tired of men. I mean, David, he would just do the most irritating things. We go out to eat, right? And every time, no matter where we went, we get chicken fingers. How do you stay so thin? I mean, man can't just live upon bread and poultry alone. Well, I thought I was trying to hit on him. 
That's the problem with straight guys. Newsflash. We're not out to seduce you. We can spot our own pretty easily. Besides, the men I like, they uh, have a certain je ne sais quoi. Hey, girl. Jason. You poor. Oh, my God. Emergency GT stat. I cannot believe... I cannot believe you. I just... I can't. What's up, Doc? Because of the... Uh, yeah. Hey. Sure. Uh, is this seat taken, too? Uh, no. No, not anymore. Great. Finally. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't want to sound weird, but that is an exquisite top. Where did you get it? Oh, I was doing a photo shoot today and they let me keep it. <laughs> ah, you're a model. But you love Project Runway. Get it? That's a deal breaker. Remember that scene earlier? Actually, I had this boyfriend who used to watch it all the time. I hate the show, personally. Can I buy you a drink? Well, needless to say, we hit it off. She was gorgeous, she was clever, and this would be no Temple of Doom-loving situation. Oh, no. This girl knew her cinema. <laughs> you know, I'd buy you a drink if we didn't have the Barnum & Bailey of booze down there. Yeah, cocktail wasn't cool 20 years ago, bro. It's not gonna be now. Okay. Maybe not the best example. But it's a movie reference. I'll take it. So... What are you drinking? Cosmo. <laughs> Takes a real man to order a drink like that. Oh, yeah, I'm a regular Roddy Piper. To this day, I still don't know why I went with Roddy Piper. But regardless, I was crazy about Kate, and I was thrilled when she agreed to another date. And another date. And finally, a date that didn't involve alcohol. So, thank goodness that of all the possible locations. Uh, hey. We both convened on the same tiny bridge. Thank you. Carl, what are you Ah, yes. The staple of any date, the shitty rom-com. An hour and a half of formulaic tedium, the one saving grace as always, the romantic lead. I know I must seem so commonly befuddled, but I came here to tell you that I, I love you, Sarah. But Charles, why would you leave the girl you're engaged to for a simple, average, everyday, girl up next door type like me? Because, Sarah, you know, if he didn't girl, have the accent. <laughs> but he does. The movie's still awful, now. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. Look at that. I mean, how great is that? I tell you, we have the same taste in everything. Apparently, that includes men. Goodness, I'm overwhelmed. I feel compelled to, if I might be so bold, ask if I might kiss you. Now, I know we may have some straight guys in the audience, so before you go judging me, I just want to clarify. It's all in the accent. But now thinking about my taste in men made me realize I'd have to fess up about my secret to Kate. Might as well be now. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, hey, Kate. Oh, well, that's a convenient time for the rain to start right when they admit they love each other. It's not cliche at all. <laughs> Kate. Yeah, what? What, Jen? Jen, just... Uh, listen, um... You know, I told you about my ex. Well, I've kind of been thinking something out. But I, I mean, don't, don't be mad. I was going to tell you. How? How does her hair stay that nice? I mean, it's pouring rain. That thing should look like a drippy shih tzu. Kate, okay, my last ex was a man. I was dating a man. No, 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 no I'm not. I'm not suggesting that you. I'm... Look, I'm just saying I've only ever dated men before. Hmm. 
So, why the oh. sudden change of, for lack of a better word, heart? I just got sick of men. Of course. I mean, they're so whiny and needy. They just switch to women. It's not a bad idea. Well, Maybe I should switch over, too. What are your thoughts on a sex change? I'm kidding. <laughs> Well, that went a lot easier than expected. Don't you agree? Look, she has to stand on her tippy toes to kiss him. What a comedic height difference. And from there, our relationship grew. Except there was one thing. Sorry about all this. Uh-huh. In uh, my defense, I have not even seen one of those things since Basic Instinct. <laughs> That's just... I have to tweet that. Do you want me to stay and cuddle or something? Nope. I think I should meet your parents. Boo yeah! I'm back in, baby. She wanted to meet my parents, an idea I was in full support of. You know, we don't have to do this if you don't want to. I do want to. <laughs> okay. Well, then we don't have to do this if I don't want to. Oh, you relax? Relax. You don't know these people like I do, Kate. There's something off about them. You're overreacting, Gary. Overreacting. You don't seem to get it, Kate. These people are obnoxious. They're sociopathic. You're walking into the den of the Leatherface clan. lovely house you have, Mrs. Willis. I mean, the bookshelves in the dining room, it's very... Insane. Nice. Thank you. So, Gary said you were a model? That's pretty cool. How long have you two known each other? Uh, about three months now, Mom. And how do you two know each other? We're dating. <laughs> Did they not know? Becky, go outside. But Dad. Becky, go outside. Maybe calm down. Maybe it's just a phase. Is this a cry for attention? Is that what this is? Yeah, I'm 29. Yeah, a little old for experimenting, don't you think? Is this what it was like coming out of the closet? No, they took that quite well, actually. I can't even process this right now. 
Kate, would you like to see some photo albums? Mrs. Willis, I've never wanted to see photo albums more than that. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside and talk to me. So you okay with all this? Hey. Less pressure on me to have grandkids. You know, the precocious child is a cliche of American cinema. So what happened with you and David? Broke up. But weren't you in love? Well, yeah. But relationships are more than just being in love. Are they? Gary, your father wants you to come inside. Yeah, sure, Mom. Ah. You're a good kid. Why do people do that? It's not cute. It's just annoying. What was that about? I was gonna ask you the same thing. What was wrong with David? He was annoying. That's it? He was annoying? You break it off after five years because he was annoying? You don't get it. It was bad, okay? The whining, the emotions, the clinginess. It was too much and I couldn't take it. Really? Too much, huh? Gary? Your mother is the most annoying woman I have ever met. Dad, I don't see what this has to do with me and David. Just hear me out. Your mother is the most annoying woman I have ever known. She can't balance a checkbook to save her life. She's constantly putting something in a safe place and then promptly forgetting where the safe place is. She's been using a computer for at least five years, and she still hasn't figured out how to get down to the next line on Microsoft Word. But the worst, and I mean the worst, is the crap on the stairs. Every day, your mother makes a pile of stuff to go up to the second floor of the house. And every day, she places it on the stairs. Not at the top of the stairs, not at the bottom of the stairs, not even next to the stairs right in the middle of the stairs. Now, I work a long day. I come home late many nights. I don't see how it is that your mother cannot get this stuff up to the top of the stairs. She's already halfway there. She certainly hasn't worked a full day. So the only thing that I can conclude is that there is some Star Trek-style impenetrable force field that prevents her from going to the top of the stairs because every day there's crap on those stairs. Look, if you're trying to convince me to go back to the man. No, no, no. Look, I'm sure Kate, I'm sure she's quite nice. But I'm sure she can be just as annoying as your mother. Or David. Or you. Or me. You know why I know why I notice the crap on the stairs every day? Because I care enough enough to notice it. I love your mother so deeply and so much that I notice all those little things. I notice when her nose crinkles when she laughs, the same way I notice the crap on the stairs. You know, there are guys who get divorced over things that annoy them. And I just can't understand that. Because if you 
take enough time to notice this stuff so that it bugs the hell out of you, then you're pretty lucky. I'm lucky that I love somebody as much and as deeply as your mother. And I'm lucky that I get to notice the crap on my stairs every day. And Gary, if you had that, where the hell would you give that up? I gotta go. And she always buys Merlot. I fucking hate Merlot. Well, come on. You know what I had to do. Oh. What do you want? Oh my god, honey, we... Were you crying? Were you watching the way we were? No. Mm -hmm. Hey, hurry up. Robert Redford's about to shoot stuff with Paul Newman. <clears throat> hey, Gary. Hey, Carol. Listen, David, I want you to take me back. <laughs> what? Why? Why should I? Look, I know I screwed up, but tonight I had an epiphany. Oh, Oprah, she calls those aha moments. Sure, fine. Whatever. Look, here's what happened. Well, there's no need for you guys to hear this. I literally just go on to explain everything we just watched on camera. So I guess we can just uh, sit and wait. Oh, wait, you're telling me I can fast forward through all this? Sweet, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, this is way, way better. All right. A little bit further, try here. David, you annoy the hell out of me. I mean, sometimes it boggles my mind that a human being can be that oblivious. This is a really great sales pitch for me to wanting to take I know, I know, I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is, I love you, David. I love you. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. You're the one I want to be with. However, with legal, I'd marry you right now. Well, it is legal now. <laughs> right. We'll talk about it, okay? I just need you to take me back. I want your crap on my stairs. I want to put my crap on your stairs. Uh, guys? Raising? Okay, never mind. I'll talk about it another time. Glad you two worked it out. Um, whatever happened to that girlfriend of yours? Shit. Those were lovely photo albums, Mrs. Willis. Especially the third time around. As you can guess, David and I patched things up. I moved back in and things were great. For the most part. We both still had some growing to do, but that's what love is, growing together. As for Kate, well, I actually have no idea what happened to Kate. Does that make me a bad person? Yes, it does. Well, there you have it. Apparently, I'm a bad person. The worst. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. We hope you enjoyed the film. Oh, well, we hope that you learned a little something. Well, he does. I couldn't care less. I just hope we get into film festivals and make a lot well, of money. <laughs> come on. Fine. We wish you all the best. May you always have love in your lives. And may you always have crap on your stairs. Thank you.